kids, welcome to Sunday School. Today we're going to talk about God's forgiveness and why we forgive others and why is it important to forgive. Okay, so as we get along with the scriptures and what the Bible has to say about forgiving others, we try and cover four topics, four points that will help you, help us to understand why we need to forgive. Okay, number one, why do we need to forgive? Number two, do we still need to forgive even the person doesn't say sorry? Number three, how many times do we need to forgive? Number four, what happens if we are hurting so bad that we couldn't even forgive? What does the Bible say about that? Okay, let's start our lesson with God's love and God's forgiveness because true love and true forgiveness comes from God and God's forgiveness to mankind. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians, love is patient, love doesn't take revenge, love is not proud and true love comes from deep love of God. So doing more than expected is the true love an expression of God that he gave his only begotten son that when we was disobedient to his commandments God did not take revenge and destroyed all of us even though we had um, a chance and even though that we were um, in a place of disobedience God chose to love us and give us forgiveness through Christ Jesus so the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 3, God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him will have everlasting life, but not perish. So remember, when we are um, in a place where we disobeyed God's commandment, just like when you don't hear and obey the instruction of your household or your parents, or for example, when your teacher your school rules and principles that you chose not to obey there are consequences that you have to face time out so the Bible tells us that we were all short of fall the shores of glory of God because of our disobedience but God chose to forgive all of us through Christ Jesus in the book of Colossians he says this he delivered us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have salvation and the forgiveness of sin. So when we receive the love of Christ and we, when we receive the forgiveness of God, then we have ability to forgive others because we have fellowship with him, because we love him and we walk in the, to be a disciples of Christ. So, when we receive God's Spirit, we have compassion, kindness, and we have love, the love of God that we earlier said that is not proud, that does not seek revenge, that is not envy, but it like to do good for others and forgive others. Then we start to walk and be like Christ. So, to come to the topic number two, if someone didn't say sorry, do we still need to forgive them? And what does the Bible say? I believe Jesus is the perfect example because when he was on the cross, he prayed for his enemies, even though they was nailing him into the cross and killing him. He prayed to the Father and he said, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. So at that moment, the enemies would not asking him to forgive them, to forgive him, for, for him to forgive them. They were not saying sorry, they were simply killing him and nailing him to the cross. But Christ cried out and he said, Father, forgive them. He had the power to call on thousands of angels to come and destroy their enemies. But he chose to die so that we are redeemed, so that we are saved through his sacrifice. So 
so Jesus told us that we are to be forgiving children just like us his father is a forgiving father so to come to number three our topic how many times do we need to forgive sometimes a person may offend you once and you might do it again more than three times more than seven times one day a disciple of Christ came and he asked him Lord if my brother hurted me how many times can I forgive seven times Lord says to him 70 times seven so this simply doesn't mean that you have to forgive someone 490 times and you have to have a textbook to tick every time that he wronged you what simply means is that you are to forgive every time someone wronged you because your heavenly father forgave, forgave you then you forgive other people as well the bible says to us in matthew if you do not forgive others of their sin then your heavenly father cannot forgive you so if we are to be a children of god and we have compassion love and kindness in our hearts because we have the spirit of god within us then we forgive those who sin against us. By doing that, we are allowing them to be redeemed. We are allowing them to see the goodness of God because the Bible reminded us that we are the light of the world. That means we don't do revenge. We show love and we forgive just like how God forgave us through Christ Jesus. And just how our Lord told us to be. Then we show them that a true disciple of Christ is, then they can come to the Lord and glorify God. So children, at the end, the Bible reminded us that we are to forgive others. So if we are hurting so bad, if we are hurting so deeply that you feel like you cannot forgive people, the Bible encourages us that we are to pray to God to help us because like I said earlier forgiving others is not for their benefit it is for our benefit because when we let go of hurt and sadness we enjoy our everyday life we live in rejoicing and we enjoy the blessing of the Lord every day we have fellowship with him above everything the Bible says if you come to the house of the Lord to worship and to bring sacrifice and offering and you remember that your brother have something against you you go back leave your offering go back reconcile with your brother then come and worship the Lord so this reminded us that obedience is more than sacrifice to hear and obey God's word is more important so when you love your brother and you live in peace then you can you have confidence to come to worship your heavenly father so this reminded us that God loved us and he forgave us through Christ Jesus then we forgive others through Christ Jesus as well then we have confidence and we are we are to bring glory to our father live in peace the Bible says Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So that we become a children of God and bring glory to Him. Thank you for listening for today's Sunday School. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye.